Hey everyone, welcome to episode seven of season four of Where's That Bar Card? I am Nick Dury. Alongside me is Daryl Purvis. I'm Monty Scott, and I have many fine leather bound books. <laughs> Is is uh, this a new thing? Because we don't do the par five every week. You need to yeah, have uh, you have to have your thing. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> I, there's no way I can stay consistent enough to have a thing. <laughs> uh, we spent last week talking about uh, the swing changes Daryl made, but Monty's Monty's hot right now. Monty wants Monty's on a he's on a streak. Incredibly, still in the same rope. Yeah, same still rope. Same rope. Well, you yeah. know what? You don't you don't leave the you 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 dance with the robe that brought you. <laughs> everybody knows that that's well you're gonna change robes mid robe come on mid robe <laughs> you can't change robes mid robe <laughs> i mean you know imagine if i came in a brown robe now i'd be like Who's he wearing a blue robe? And i'm like no he switched um <laughs> no because uh, i i did request that i talked about my golf game because it's working yeah. for a moment. right that's amazing uh and, post-wedding uh, Post wedding, I feel a little more relaxed, and I've yeah. I've been playing a little bit more. And I was talking to you guys last week about um, a thing I've been doing is thinking about my mechanics during the swing to keep the demons out. I they can't get in there and squirrel around in my head, right? And um, just be like, just what what do you want to do on the swing, and then just do it. Yeah, you know that's that's what I've been kind of doing, and I'm like, why don't I do this all the time? Because um, I'll fail to do it and swallow my own tongue probably fall down a well and then do do it the next time and it works you know yeah. so it's like it, it's a thing that works for me for sure so i've been doing that a little bit and um a few of the things i was doing poorly in the year like i just hadn't practiced putting very much and like now i, I it's just like i got a comfort in everything mm. even the chipping i was chipping like um um i was chipping like i was a uh redheaded stepchild you know what i mean like i was like um <laughs> like i couldn't you know i just couldn't get anything quite right and then um like unwanted like i'm well, trying to I, i'm trying to follow the analogy here no i mean that was a bit of a misnomer as an analogy for sure nick but um but, i mean yeah, yeah but there's something there yeah or uh like uh kissing your cousin or something you know what i mean like you yeah, feel yeah. Uh, you feel not right sure and um <laughs> Especially when it but, comes to but, but it's so right at the same time. It's it's so weird. <laughs> Depending on your own predilections, I'm like it does feel right actually. Yeah, <laughs> I've actually nothing's really, ever felt righter. <laughs> I'm really chipping well because I feel like I'm kissing my cousin. I tell you, <laughs> the odd thing is it's a male cousin too. That's what's yeah. weird. <laughs> it, yeah, I mean all across the board, but it. I'll tell you, it never felt more right. <laughs> <laughs> Something feels right. Uh, but you know when you miss chips, um, yeah, I'm a relative. My short game is relatively good, and you know I don't expect to be right next to the hole for a gimme. But I, I, I you know, it's it's a thirty foot chip. Yeah, it should be relatively close. And then you do something only halfway, you just fuck it up for no reason. I was doing yeah, a lot right. of that, and I don't know if I just I, I don't know what it is. Maybe I just got a little bit more relaxed. But then it's you know it's n normal. It's, yeah happening the way you expect it to where it'd be like oh maybe i have a six foot putt instead of you know i'm chipping again but i mean it's a it's it it is also telling that like the impact of the mental game because you haven't practiced you've you're not necessarily you know gotten better physically but you're better mentally yeah. and it's impacting your game no i would say inarguably have gotten worse physically sure and, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> really let yourself go post wedding. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, well, I mean, I haven't. No, no, no. I have been. I've been stretching also. Wow. Yeah. This is yeah, a big no. change for you. Well, uh, my ligaments are like uh, loose linguini now. <laughs> I've gone back it's to you. I, still are loose, loose or properly cooked linguini. <laughs> I feel like there's a difference. A loose linguini. What does that even mean? I it just it, the linguini is too long. That's how, like sometimes I swing around and I've gone a full three sixty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like I, I'm not even held I'm only held by my bones Incredible. the bones are the only thing keeping my skeletal structure even remotely intact 
Hey, when you guys go to a simulator, do you guys like play a course and like just take turns or do you actually practice? When I go to practice, I practice, put it on the driving range setting. Right. Yeah. And then go. I mean, well, we've gone to a simulator and drank on an afternoon, didn't we? Yes. One time? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah so we've done that. But I like, I, you know, we've talked about this many times. I really like just going to the driving range for yeah. spending two hours at a driving range. I could do that every single day of my life. Yeah. So when I go to the simulator, it's right on the driving range option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Daryl doesn't call me to go to the driving range. I'm I'm not allowed. I came in a bathrobe once, and <laughs> I don't know. We're allowed on this joint no more, and I'm like, no, just no problem. Ling yeah. Loose linguini and mid robes. <laughs> yeah. He had to. It was terrible. I brought him, and they wouldn't let him in. He had to go across the street at Swiss Chalet. <laughs> <laughs> No came problem. back monty's covered in chicken grease and just <laughs> well i came back in a different colored robe and they were like no no and i'm like come on it's different what you're the same guy about? you're the same guy no different guy <laughs> different guy uh and it's not that i don't i just was honestly just going to practice so it's not like oh, i was yeah. going there yeah. to to play or, like we'll go yeah, yeah. me you and nikos yeah. Monty's oh, yeah. friend Nikos uh, lives really close to us too, mm. so I mean we'll go there and drink some yeah. afternoon. Winter but, time, uh, as it comes, yeah, down, winter time we'll be doing some of that. Have yeah, but right, I mean these are just like afternoons. I got an hour. I'm gonna run over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, okay. and I'm not exaggerating. <clears throat> in an hour, it hit 135 to 150 balls. Jesus, like Christ. I'm just I'm sweating when I walk out of there. Wow, because I'm just trying to read. Cause this is what I did when I was a kid, when I was decent, I'm just trying to make sure I keep doing the same thing over and over yeah, and over yeah. again. So it gets into my brain. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't even think about like the guys like, do you want a beer? And I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah you're here to work. I just want to go hit balls, please. Yeah. Yeah. I come out of there. Like literally it's sweats running down my face. It's kind Amazing. of embarrassing. I mean, it's <laughs> well, buddy, you go in there. Um, I'm here to chew gum and hit balls and I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> Get out of my face. <laughs> so get out of my face <laughs> it's so aggressive <laughs> he's just trying guy. to provide a service <laughs> poor guy the simulator has done nothing wrong here all he's done is set me up on the driving range option no he's cool he left you, he left your face no problem <laughs> You're not in my face. I don't got a problem with you. Now watch this. Now watch this drive. Uh, uh, buddy, well, if it's working for you, uh, I get I, you know, you wouldn't think by, I always knew, um, you wouldn't tell by your complexion, but I always knew this guy's got a lot of VJ Singh in him. And I was like, <laughs> this guy likes to go to a range and just hit balls until you're sick. <laughs> he, he may not look Fijian, but. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this is the uh, this is confirmed. He's uh, VJ is not a Sri Lankan. No, he's not. Okay. He's from, he's from Fiji. 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 Yeah. No, every, everyone keeps telling me this, but yeah, you don't believe it. You you refuse to. This is Monty's big conspiracy theory. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mainstream media has been lying yeah. to us ever VJ since. Said. Ever since Monty found out he's part Portuguese, it's just he's questioning everything. Yeah. Well, you I mean those are conspiratorial people. We are. <laughs> Yeah. The, Portuguese? Yeah, the Portuguese, <laughs> you, you've got full Portuguese now. <laughs> well, it's like it snuck up on me, but it, yeah, we are. That's great for you. <laughs> Monty's just creating stereotypes now yeah. for his people, the Portuguese. <laughs> we wear robes whenever we want to, for God's sake, <laughs> <The> Portuguese. <laughs> Uh, Monty, would you ever be compelled to go to a simulator on your own to practice? Um, no. Okay. But uh, you, you know what? I I I found I'm I've never found the kind of um the help that Daryl finds in, in it. Like I swear to God, I start swinging, and um, I find I could get myself into bad habits, or you know what I mean? Mm. Like not yeah, like, yeah, not yeah. like a few swings, but like to do a bunch of them. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot. Most of the time, I go to a driving range, I leave with more questions than I started with. <laughs> you right. know, I, yeah, I yeah. almost never feel like I'm like, oh, I settled that. Sure. 
you know, or I'm like, oh, I'll swing really good next time. I don't feel that. So that's why I don't more than anything. I don't mind. You know, I like to go hit some balls. Sure. But just to loosen up. You're not working on anything. Yeah. Yeah. Or I would hit some. <clears throat> I just wouldn't go and like, like what Daryl's doing there is you're hitting 130 balls. I just wouldn't hit a, a if I hit a bunch of balls like that, like I'm a factory worker, I, it won't help me. <laughs> right. Right. You know, I, I feel yeah. like it won't help me. Um, So I, I don't do it for like, oh, I'll get better. Mm. Interesting. If I lived next to a field and I had a bunch of balls, I would hit some. Right. You know, but not working on anything. You just want you just want to hit random people in said field. Like you didn't even say it <laughs> yeah. was an empty oh, field. Sure. If there was yeah. people walking back and forth, I would go and hit balls. <laughs> that's a different different game. You like a moving target. I sure do. Um, because if even if somebody tells me somebody was telling me the other day, uh, we we're near the road and and they were like, oh, I was like, don't tell me about things I could hit. Because it'll get into my head and somehow my body will purely aim at it. Oh, yeah. Like uh, sure. our, our buddy Jared was telling me, um, he's like, oh, you'll probably hit that goose. And I was like, no, of course I wouldn't hit that goose. And then I murdered the ball right at the goose's head. Jesus. And I'm like, I don't know how I do it or why. But um, that's that's incredible accuracy, because I'm pretty yeah. sure a goose's head is probably smaller <laughs> than a golf hole. Yeah, this is like, I was I was within <laughs> It's also the smallest part of the goose. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I almost murdered. I almost beheaded the goose with a shot. Jesus, which I would have. I would have taken that goose and I would have taxidermied taxidermied him. No head. <laughs> <laughs> Just come over to Monty's house. There's a goose neck sticking out of the wall. No head. <laughs> no head. What is? Not that? even the rest of the body. Just the yeah. neck. <laughs> That is a goose that they told me I couldn't blow his head off with a golf ball, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, Craven, Craven the Hunter, I was. No, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I zone in on. I'm like, I'm like, no, nah, surely I wouldn't hit that. Right, mm, this guy was going right for it. Amazing, but that's that's again a different game. I just can't get, um, like that repetitive shooting. I, I think I get myself into bad habits, maybe. Right. Yeah, yeah. No. I, I'll be, I'll be in a simulator a lot this fall if I pull the trigger on those new clubs. Uh, mostly because they're all going to be uh, different lofts that I'm used to. You, you still so, didn't pull the trigger yet? No, I've got the, I've got the your shopping cart full right now. I could like literally click on it right now and get them. What's holding? I want to, I want to do one thing. I want to go to a simulator and I want to get some stats because uh, that's going to impact the type of uh, shaft I get. Uh, they've got recommendations for if you hit your seven iron 160 yards and it, you know, your swing speed is this with a seven iron, then get the the stiffer shafts than regular. So I just want to do that one thing. So that's why I've yet to pull the trigger. But once I do, I, I'm going to have to relearn every single club, basically, because the, the lofts are going to be like two degrees different than what I've been used to for 25 years. So a seven iron will likely go like 170 now. That's going to be a weird head headspace for me to get into so i'm gonna to have to just hit a simulator and do what daryl does and just hit ball after ball after ball to get the numbers yeah. so that when i'm on a work course, up I a can... sweat oh yeah yeah mind you I, I don't think you'll i don't think it'll take you so long it'll only take you a few games you'll be like well you're just hitting a different you know i guess so yeah if it's consistent for every club yeah it is consistent for every club yeah the problem with the simulator for me though is like <clears throat> i don't think they're consistent you go from like one day i'm um, I'm landing my driver on the simulator. Yeah. About between 250 and 260. That's where the ball's landing. Right. And then the next day it's like 220 on a different yeah, simulator. Yeah. I, I, it's going to be tough to try to figure out distances because true. I don't think they're all the same. They're not. I mean, how mm. could they be? You know, right? Like, yeah. I mean, you'd have to have all the conditions exactly the same and that's everything true. that. So, yeah. I mean, that's the hardest part. But I mean, the feel that's. Yeah. That's what you're going to have to figure out as a feel. Yeah, for sure. Well, some of the simulators, I mean, to be to be honest, um, I could be operating a simulator where um, you hit it under the screen and yep. um, I'm just like 220. Right. And yeah, you're like, just behind there going, that was 220. Yeah, just type <laughs> it in, 220. I'll take 220. <laughs> uh, you know, 225. it would be fun if, if every time you hit a ball in a simulator, there's just like a goose screaming in pain <laughs> beheaded goose running in circles bullseye <laughs> who, who, 
created the simulator. Like, yeah. <laughs> You could never, you could never hit a shot without beheading a goose. Oh, I, I thought the simulator was from Camo Toe Productions. <laughs> now that's a callback. <laughs> camo Toe up to their own, up to their regular business, being Camo and Toe. <laughs> and also for well, okay, uh, no. oh, we, we didn't, we didn't even do this last week, but I just, you know, through the power of Google. There is an entire company called Camo Toe Apparel. Are you shitting me? They stole nope. it from us already? Yeah. <laughs> Here, How did I'll they get the product up so quick? Activate Here. the lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking Bill Gates. He Bill did it to Gates us. We knew it. it. Yeah. You, you know, they got, he's got deep pockets. I would expect wanna... it from Elon Musk, but not Bill Gates. No, you wouldn't expect this. I'm sorry, he's got deep pockets, but I want to reach in there. Uh, it's oh. about what you think. Yeah. Oh my god. This is wild. And they even spell it the same way. Yeah. T O E. Oh man. Oh, this is terrible. But is it just socks? Where's their socks? Uh, there, uh, this is all I see. I don't see socks. Oh, we still got a chance. Yeah. Just shirts that say camo toe? That's it. Wow. Okay. What a missed opportunity. Oh. What a damn shame. I haven't been this upset since I jokingly used the term canoeber. Say, one time I was saying when we were young, we didn't have Ubers, we just had canoebers. You'd call a guy and he'd come and get you in a canoe and paddle you across the river. <laughs> and then I, I Googled it one time and there was a place thing called canoeber. And I was come like, on. what are you oh shitting me? Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Carol, this is, it's possible you're going into the future and, and spotting things or into the past. I'm going yeah. into the future and I'm picking the most useless things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the most obscure like did they make a fortune no they did not but um you know <laughs> i i like canoeber i like the idea of enough people in canoes around you mm. mm -hmm. you did like, like to hit, a, hit golf balls at or <laughs> oh i would well i'd love that i mean i'd probably be i nobody would let me on a canoe because i've been shooting golf balls at them this whole time <laughs> I've, I, I've made a lot of enemies with the, the canoers Canoers or canoeists? Uh, um, I'll call them what I want when I'm shooting golf balls at them. I'll tell you that. You spend an inordinate amount of energy thinking about things that you're restricted of doing. There's a <laughs> there's a lot of time, but like people don't let me do that. They won't let me. I, and the, I, I the ironic part is he's not right wing. Right, because that is know. basically the whole argument of right wing That's exactly people. It. I'm yeah. not allowed to do this. I'm not allowed to do that. Yeah. Monty couldn't be further from right wing, and there yeah. he is. Same same idea. Oh, I'm not allowed to stand in my robe and hit golf balls at people on canoes. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Trudeau, Justin Trudeau won't let me hit golf balls at canoes <laughs> anymore. Why Stephen Harper used to let me hit canoe canoes. <laughs> No, that's true. It's true. I mean, except that I agree with the things they won't let me do. I'm like, no, you shouldn't. Let me do that. <laughs> but I'm like, I, I, but I want, I'd like to do that. But I'm like, no, that's society will break down. It's a tremendous <laughs> amount of energy on <laughs> things you can't do, but you agree that you shouldn't be allowed to do them. I would, I do agree, but I would like to do them. I don't know if society will break down, but the local <laughs> canoeing club might be having some issues. The canoeing community will break down to an extent. <laughs> Just hitting five woods at Adam. Oh my God. Oh God. Their, for, but to be honest, it's their own fault for canoeing in the lakes at four seasons. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you're on a little lake, bro. That is a really little lake. You're lucky how I don't do you... drive my golf cart off this bridge and hit you with that. How, do you part portage from each one? <laughs> I saw him walking around with a canoe. I actually hit him out of the water. He, I hit him in the back. When he was carrying his canoe from one <laughs> one lake to another. Actually, if you pan over to one of Monty's walls, there's just another headless canoeer sticking out the side of his wall. <laughs> Can I that... taxidermy that? Yeah. Wasn't oh, there? Am I, re... am I remembering this? Isn't in the 80s or Mr. early 80s? Mr. Canoe Head? Canoe Head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, four on right? the floor. Yeah. That's right. Four, four on, the floor. on the floor. That's right. Yeah, that was a great show. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was the head? whole character. He just had a canoe head. He was I think he got like somewhere. he was portaging and he, he got hit by lightning and now the canoe is just yeah. his head. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. That is that is um uh, that's quite a scenario. 
<laughs> yeah. You could bring that back, but he gets hit by a golf ball and it's just oh, welds man. itself to his head. Now he, now he's Mr. Canoe Head. Everybody comes after you. <laughs> it'll be similar. It'll be like um, Friday the 13th where you're trying to bang somebody in the forest and the canoe head. Because <laughs> yeah, they're always, you know, I guess uh, it can be for us where you need to be a teenager trying to have sex and be like, oh, they're coming out you. <laughs> Did you guys hear about the legend of the canoe head in this whole universe? <laughs> Yeah, you you were like, hey, listen, I, well, what's what's this girl got going on? Oh, geez, I got a canoe in my back. <laughs> I can feel the canoe on my back. I'm being portaged to death. <laughs> this is... <laughs> it's a... Oh, how do you expect to die? Probably by being portaged. I am not. <laughs> Classic death. Classic yeah. Canadian death. Death by portaging. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's a, a tale as old as time <laughs> well as old as canoes <laughs> yeah they, I don't know what came first time or canoes <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to know I, yeah, we, we weren't there imagine if portaging came before canoes <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> I think it did. Just somebody just jumping in him, like, hey, listen, what were you carrying? Anyway, I don't know. I think it's business. <laughs> oh God, I was just laughing so hard I had to turn the mic off because I was farting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we don't have sponsors. This is so weird. Where are the port- portage people? <laughs> Let's go, Camo Toe. Cam- I think Camo Toe is a sponsorship for yeah. sure. Camo- Definitely. Throw us a bone, Camo Toe. <laughs> <laughs> no double entendre there. Not, not intended. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, sadly, it, like the season is starting to go well for both of you. And, and, and it's, and it's starting, to wind, down. starting yeah, to wind down. I'm excited for next season. Yeah. Oh, I'm not yet. I'm still in the midst of this. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I'm, I, I live, uh, I live every day, um, a half mile at a time. A uh, half what? A half mile? mile at a time. Vin Diesel said that once. Oh, what is it? What does it mean? Um, I believe it's in reference to, um, racing vehicles, but in, for me, it's just living life. Portaging. Uh, portaging. Portaging. No, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take uh, one putt at a time. Yeah, one approach at a time. My hip hurts though. Really, that's a problem. It, it is a problem. You're gonna have to go down to a, a quarter mile at a time. Uh, well, you know, I've been thinking about taking some Vicodin. Really? Yeah. What? I'm gonna snort Vicodin before the games. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> Like, like turning into the wolf of wall street for god's sakes what's happening <laughs> you're 50 this year monty for the love of god oh, stop. this is the time to start starting <laughs> I'm, like, in. I'm like oh god no no, no we, we start i'm gonna fire it up a little bit because um what do you call it fountain of youth wow yeah that's what they say that's what they call Vicodin, the fountain of youth. <laughs> I'm looking for a sponsor again. Hey, listen, Vicodin, we've been talking about you guys as a fountain of youth. Yeah, big just, pharma, yeah. big pharma's lining up for you, Monty. <laughs> they, they won't they, let Monty take Vicodin. They, they won't let me take Vicodin. <laughs> <laughs> they won't let me take Vicodin and get in a canoe. Can you believe that? <laughs> There's a big, every canoe has a big size that says no Vicodin before canoeing. <laughs> Hopefully it's been 30 minutes since you've taken Vicodin <laughs> to get on this you'll get, canoe. You'll get cramps. Yeah, no snorting. <laughs> no snorting Vicodin before you immediately get on this canoe. <laughs> Doctors suggest. Uh, waiting 30 to 45 minutes before getting in a canoe after snorting bike. Are we are we this simple? Yeah. We, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, 
Yeah. Well, well, listen, if we can't get a sponsor out of that, I don't even know what's going even, on with yeah. the drug industry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing money at us. <laughs> Should have been sponsored by Pfizer. Do they make Vicodin? No, they're they're making a Vicodin substitute. Uh, we're gonna DuPont, keep the... DuPont, DuPont, oh, they're, DuPont. They're, yeah, they they yeah. have no scruples. Is that no. the proper use? I believe it's pronounced DuPont. Mm. <laughs> You're gonna say it's pronounced Scrapals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another short episode this week, guys. We're uh, I don't know. We got we're we're busy. We're traveling. Things There's a lot of travel. Over the place. Uh, we're trying to uh, yeah, a lot of travel in the yeah. next few months. It's uh, none of your business. <laughs> All of it by canoe. All of it. <laughs> it's none of your business on a podcast to no one who's asking. No one's asking. It's a dialogue in his man in this man's head. <laughs> I gotta uh, say, we shouldn't let Monty take Viking in before episodes oh, anymore. Yeah. This is a real yeah, issue. This is great. Yeah. It was- it, it was in the bathrobe. <laughs> it, it came with a bathrobe. It came with a bag of bacon. It's another, the bathrobe is another thing he found on the side of the road. <laughs> it's a great bounty at the side of roads. That's why it takes a half mile of time. <laughs> mile of time. Any faster than that, you lose the bounty. <laughs> <laughs> hold on baby i thought i saw a robe back there i gotta go back <laughs> hey is that a robe <laughs> when i stop at a half mile i'm gonna go back and see <laughs> yes we are that simple uh that was great uh i hope the the season is winding down for for everyone out there thank you everyone for listening and watching on youtube thank you comedy records uh i hope we you know we're all traveling and all over the place but i hope uh i hope we can we can play or hit a simulator or something soon yeah yeah well i think we're all going to be in toronto at the end of october so we should try to get out probably the last one of the last weeks of the year we should uh definitely try to get out Definitely. Unless Monty's about to tell us he's going on the road for the last two weeks of October or something. No, no, no. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to bring a jack-o'-lantern for those games. <laughs> Just under your arm? Yeah. <laughs> Is that in the cart? And what for? Um, For intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you trying to intimidate? Yeah. The geese, probably. <laughs> yeah, the local fauna. <laughs> Uh, thanks everyone for listening. We'll uh, we'll see you next week. Especially those of you who didn't turn us off partway through those yeah. stupid moments. <laughs> well, you're in now. You can't get out. God bless you. <laughs> it's none of your business. That was what the late Henry Longhurst used to call the tradesman's entrance. Now you know it doesn't count as the tradesman's entrance. It goes inside.